Good morning, how's it going? I've been doing a lot of interviews over the past four months. So many interviews, I lost count. So I need to implement a system where I can keep track of all the feedback and just having a better overview on the progress during this process. I also have a different perspective on product market fit. So I'll talk more about that and uh, show you a little bit of my day. Let's go. This could be the most beautiful street in the city. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day. Got a little breakfast. I've been building so much. I've been coding a lot. This mini build space that I'm running by myself is as hard as the real one. What makes it so challenging is to put that extra pressure extra accountability on yourself every week on thursday i have to put out a update it's a bond that i have with myself that's great in terms of making progress i think it's very hard to keep up with that schedule but the good news is i'm getting better and better at this i'm getting faster and i kind of know how to scope what i want to do every week the stress level is right there i might have to do some adjustments after this six weeks i'm on week five so it's almost over and I will start making some adjustments and reset my priorities. It's been fun. This is what makes it so crazy this week. This tiny little section. Una's suggestion was the feature that I wrote out last week. What's so cool about this is that once you create a test, on the background, we'll start analyzing your video and then give you a suggestion on descriptions and chapters. So we basically generate written content based on your video content. But what people don't know is that description is a very important piece to your video packaging. It helps the YouTube algorithm to understand your videos to categorize it and to help it promote your video. So this is a great addition to optimize your video performance even further. What made it so stressful was because I implemented four times. YouTube wrote out a few features that prevent people from getting information. It made it very difficult to access the, the video itself and do further analysis. So I tried so many different ways to, to make it happen. But I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. I can't keep track of all the feedback, all the development progress, so I have to have something in place for project management. So I'm using GitHub Project to do it. It's pretty wild to see that earlier this year, I didn't have any customers. I was totally stuck because I didn't have any feedback. And now it's a complete 180. This result is definitely driven by the effort. I spent months and months trying to talk to as many people as I can. Agencies, creators, enterprises. After four or five months of user interviews, I completely changed my idea about product market fit. wisdom doesn't really matter they could be true for a lot of cases but they're they're not necessarily true for everyone when people think about market they think about a big big market a lot of data science in it i think this is a very exhausting way to think about product market fit it creates this barrier between you and the market it prevents you from going out there and start cooking you know i had this idea of a b testing for creators and i just went for it i didn't have a solid grasp 
on how the product would be. I also didn't know anything about the market. I wasn't a creator. I never worked with a creator. I have no idea how the market is. So you can imagine it's very daunting to think about product market fit. What I did was I started very small. I just had this crazy courage and then I started building it. I started something very small, tiny product with one feature. And it stayed this way for about half a year. I went to conferences. I talked to creators one-on-one -on -one just to find out who is my audience and start with them. What I found out is that corporations, there are layers of communication, so it takes a lot of time to generate a lead. And for agencies, they are closer to the creators, but there is still a additional layer to the user. And there are so many different types of creators and they come with different sizes as well. Find the type of creators that most likely will be more acceptable to Una was a challenge. It's still a challenge. I'm still trying to figure that out, but at least this is the most straightforward way to generate leads for Una. That's what I spend the most of my time with. As time goes on, Una gets bigger and bigger. So does my network. The more I interact with people, the more I do user interviews. I learn how to talk about Una better and better. And I started to see where is my market and how to continue building Luna. If you have an idea, just go for it. Start building something. And then, and then talk to as many people as possible. You don't need to wait. There's definitely a power to doing. I just want to keep knocking on the doors. One day, good thing will come. I'm very hopeful. I'm not afraid of the work ahead. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Ciao.